Breaking news right now, the search is still underway for at least three men who shot at Wake County deputies. It happened near Rada Drive, not too far from Shepherd School Road. That's where we find our Colleen Quigley. Colleen, this started off last night. What can you tell us right now? Yeah, Randy, good afternoon to you. We know one of the difficulties in tracking down this trio last night was this right here, this dense woods. So as you said, Randy, right now the Wake County Sheriff's Office still looking for the three men. I want to take you out, though, to what it looked like here last night while that search was going on. Uh, deputies from the Wake County Sheriff's Office were called here uh, to the Plantation Glen subdivision. Just before 7:30 last night, uh, they were called out here for a report of shots fired. But when they got here, we're told someone started shooting at them. So, with the help of the Roseville Police Department and State Highway Patrol, they were able to track at least three people to this wooded area. The sheriff says the gunmen ignoring deputies' commands to stop shooting, and that's when the deputies made a decision to not fire back. The sheriff commending them for that, saying they did that because they didn't know exactly where the shooters were and they didn't want to risk. Hurting anyone else? I commend those officers. You know, we got a lot. Uh, the question now is about de escalation and things like that. I think they did a great job showing great restraint, you know, uh, with the weapon rounds being fired over them. Obviously, a very scary situation for the people who live in this neighborhood. One woman told us she could hear the bullets coming right past her house. We know in another situation out here, the sheriff's office says one home was actually struck by a bullet. Uh, so we're going to continue looking into this for you. We do know that they found shell casings from rifles and pistols in that wooded area. And in terms of a suspect description, we're being told one of the men had on a pink jacket or hoodie. We're going to stay on top of this story. And as soon as we learn anything else, we will, of course, let you know right away. But for now, reporting live in Zebulon, Colin Quigley, CBS 17 News.